Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nadia Putri Sregar I am from class 33.2a.02 I will doing my midterm project Here we go Part 1 Hi Junko, it's Andrea Here from Red Band I'm calling about our last order Yes, everything fine with the order. I'm calling about the invoice and the payment terms. I need a favor. A favor? What do you need? I'm not sure if I can do that, Andrea. We have good regulation at our end and also have to manage our own cash flow I see so your cash flow problem will be solved after this new order is delivered that sounds good hold on Andrea let me see what I can do yes I think we can make an exception this time that's great Junko I appreciate I appreciate your help. Sure, no problem. We're happy to help you. Great. And I'll email you the new order. Thanks. I'll keep an A out for it. Talk to you soon. Part 2 So as far as I know the main similarity between Mars and Earth is that they can both superhuman life. Yeah. But we know that's actually true. I mean Mars is more colder than Earth, isn't it? Size where it's about minus fifty five degrees most of the time, whereas is on Earth only place like Antarctica get that cold. No way, Mars is much further away. Besides her, it's about 228 million kilometers, while Earth is about 150 million. Yes, but in space, that's not that far. Jupiter is like almost 780 million kilometers. That's why we we use astronomical unit when we talk about distance in space. Earth is one astronomical unit from the sun and Mars is 1.3. The difference doesn't sound so big when you look at it that way. Yeah. Earth is called the blue planet and Mars is called the red planet for pretty obvious reason. There is a pretty difference. Mars is about half the size of Earth, right? And it's mostly carbon dioxide. Gravity is another difference. I didn't know this, but Mars has higher gravity than the moon but it's much less than on Earth. Of course. Okay. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.